Welcome to March Madness Minute number eight. Today we're going to take a tour of Google Drive. So some things to note, Google Drive does work best in Chrome because they're both owned by Google. And we're going to highlight some of the subtle text features because it helps with your navigation. Uh, any device that has internet access is going to give you access to your Google folders and files. And as of this year, your Google Drive storage is unlimited. So we're going to go ahead and start by logging in. So I've just gone to google.com and from that site there is a sign in and it's slightly different than signing into your computer in the morning. In the morning you'll go to first.lastname. This actually includes your at canvas.wednet.edu but it is the same password that you use every day to log in. Uh, something to note if you're uh, si assigning summer work is that students passwords will reset to their eight digit birthday over the summer. And that's two digits for month, two digits for day, and four digits for the year. So I'm gonna sign in, and now I'm signed into Google. And Google has a lot of products for you. If you click on the waffle I icon, you can see some of them that are listed, and you can go on to look at pages and pages of them. But we're gonna go to Google Drive, the triangle icon. And I know that I'm in my school Google account because I can see the Canvas logo in the upper left. If I do have a personal account, I can simply click on the profile picture and go back and forth between my personal Gmail and my school Google Apps for Education account. And those two accounts do have some differences. So we're gonna start by uh, going down the left-hand column to the Create button. And Create lets you add folders and you can have folders within folders and get as organized as you want to. Documents are like Word. Presentation is like PowerPoint. Spreadsheet is like Excel. And then form is something kind of unique to Google. That's where you can send out a survey or a quiz. And it's going to look nice and pretty for your end user, but all the raw data is actually going to go into a spreadsheet for you. Drawing allows you to do some shapes and things, and you can embed that into a document. You can add extra apps, but I haven't found these to be very useful except for maybe adding your own signature to a document with hello sign. Uh, besides creating items from scratch, you can also upload. And uploading allows you to upload files like uh, from your network folders. And if you're using Chrome, you can not just do a file at a time, but you can actually do entire folders. So since there's un unlimited storage, you could upload every file you have on the network right now. Before you do that, before you start uploading files and folders, you might want to think about the format that you'd like to upload those to. And if you'd like those to be Google Docs instead of Word, um, you can click on Settings and then Upload Settings. And I chose to upload my files, but I chose this first so that any Microsoft product would be changed to a Google Doc format. Um, we're going to continue to go down this left column. So my drive, if I click on that little tiny triangle, is going to expand to the folders that I have in there. And if I click on something and it turns red, like classroom, I'm going to turn, click on classroom. If I click on it, it opens up here in the center. If I click on the triangle, it expands all the folders. So let's think back to that create button or that upload button. So if I wanted to create a document, um, it's going to be created, but it's going to be created in that classroom folder. So just be aware of what folder is active so that if you create or upload a document, you know which folder that's going into. If you right click on your folders, you do have the option to share them. So you can share them with your PLC group, let's say. And that's a little nicer because anytime I create a folder and share it, once I add documents into that folder, those files will keep the same permissions as the folder itself. And that way you don't have to share individual document after individual document. Um, if you right click, you can also rename and change the color, which is can be nice for organizing. So that's my drive shared with me. Um, like it says, it's just anytime it's somebody shares a file or folder with you and if you look at these, I can see the title and I can also see the date it was shared and the name. Something else you can notice here is some of them are bold and some are not. If it's bold, that means somebody's made changes to it since the last time I was in it. So QR code, there's been no changes since the last time I was in it, but this ELA web resource page uh, or file 
has had changes since the last time I was in it. If you look with shared with me, you can always take these files and drag them over to your my drive and organize them in a way that makes sense for you. If this one I can see I uh, must have a Sky Ridge Middle School folder and this document is already in that folder. The ELA web resource is not in my my drive because I haven't dragged it over into a folder yet. And if it was a folder that I'd color coded, um, instead of being a light gray, it'll actually be in color as well. Um, starred. Uh, if you think back to when we did bookmarks and pages, this is pretty similar. So let's say I go to my drive and maybe I want the classroom to show up in my starred. I can click on the star, turn it yellow, and now it's going to be in my starred folder as well. So if there's a document that you access often or there's something special you're working on right now, that's a quick way that you can get to it is by starring it. Uh, if you're not sure where a document is, recent is another way where you can quickly access it. And trash, um, it's not going to delete itself, but if you ever want to delete it, you can. But there's also no pressure because there's unlimited storage. So uh, that's a little bit about Google Drive and the functionality over here on the left. You can also look at your documents. Let's see, I'm going to go back to my drive. Instead of a list, I can see them in a grid mode, which works nice, especially if you're working with a lot of photos. Um, activity, I don't use this a lot, but it does allow you to see what changes have been made. If I click on an actual folder, so I'm going to go to my classroom folder and see activity. I can see activity just for that folder. And I can get more details. Honestly, I usually click X so I have more workspace. Um, so that's just a little overview of Google Drive, and we'll go into some more detail at a later date. Thank you.